Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be another DIY Halloween costumes video and this one is more like a last minute type of thing. So if you haven't chosen your costume or found one yet, hopefully you guys get some inspiration from this video and if you haven't seen my last one, I will have it linked down below. So in total, we have 30 different DIY Halloween costumes because this is actually a huge collab with a bunch of my YouTube friends and we're all doing five costumes in our videos and here is everyone in the club. Hey, what's up? My name's Danielle Carolyn. Nice to meet you. I'm Molly from the channel Miss Molly and I'm Kinsey and I'm also doing five costume ideas. So if you guys want to check them out, the link will be in the description. Hi, I'm Jill and I'm showing you five easy DIY costumes. I'm Nicole Jacqueline and I'm doing five last minute Halloween costumes. I will have everyone's video linked down below so you guys can go watch them once you're done watching this video and definitely subscribe to their channels and leave them nice comments because I would really appreciate that. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face here on YouTube, hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Michaela. I hope you enjoy my video and you want to maybe stick around, subscribe, stay a while, that kind of thing. I did also want to mention that I am giving away a Instax Mini 8 camera, color of your choice this month. So only rule is you have to be subscribed and I'll be picking a random winner at the end of the month. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, you have a chance to win this, which is really cool. Other than that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Yeah. The first DIY costume I wanted to share with you guys is Boo from Monsters Inc. and this one is super easy and really adorable. To make myself look a little bit more cartoony, I'm taking this white eyeliner from NYX and putting that on my waterline to make my eyes appear a lot bigger and brighter and then I'm also just taking a pink lipstick from Maybelline and putting that on to make me look a little bit younger and of course I have foundation, lashes and all that kind of stuff on but these are fun little things that you guys can do to make it look a little bit more cartoony. And then for the costume, I basically started off with a pink long shirt from Value Village. This one is incredibly long and it works so well. Now Boo's leggings are actually really bright purple but I couldn't find any so I went with this more muted purple pair and the hair of course is super easy all you have to do is put it into two pigtails and then I added these pom-poms that I got at Ardeen's they're just elastic so they were super easy to put in and then I finished off the look with some white high top converse because she wears white shoes in the movie and that's pretty much all you need to be boo for Halloween it's super easy and really cute now moving on to the alien costume which is actually more of a makeup look because you can pretty much wear anything you want to be an alien that you have lying around that's sparkly and stuff. So for the makeup, I started off with my regular foundation, concealer, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm taking a dark green eyeshadow and really sculpting out my brows, kind of making them a little bit more sharp than I normally would. And then I'm taking a green eyeshadow from the Full Spectrum Urban Decay palette and contouring my nose heavily. Then I'm taking that same eyeshadow and really carving out my cheekbones. And of course, you can use any color you want for this. I just chose green because it's a classic alien color and you can interpret this however you want. It's just a fun, creative look. and. Yeah, you can really make it your own. I just kind of had this idea and wanted to show you guys. And then I just carved out the tops of my head. I don't know what you call that part of your head. You guys can see. And then I also did the same on my eyelid. And then I'm just taking one of the Urban K Moon Dash shadows and placing that all over my lid. I wanted this look to be really sparkly and green and just really easy to recreate. So it's only a few steps. And then for liner, I'm just taking this really nice blue color. I will have all the products I used in this section linked down below so you guys can go check it out. It, the liner is from Urban Decay. Popped on some lashes and put mascara on my bottom lashes as well. And then from the NYX contouring palette, I'm taking the highlight shade and highlighting my inner corners as well as my cheekbones. It's pretty much the only other face product. I didn't use any blush or anything because I wanted to keep myself really pale, but also give me that really nice shine and sparkle. For lips, you can really do any color you like. I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in Stone Fox, which is a nice dark gray color. Kind of has a purple hue to it as well, and I think it's so fitting for this. I really like the way it turned out. And then to finish off the look and tie all the green in together, I'm placing another Urban Decay Munda shadow on top of my lips and just packing that in to give it a nice little iridescence. Of course, I did have my hair in two space buns, which is obviously really easy to recreate. And then I wore a sparkly romper that I just had in my closet, and that's pretty much all you need to be for an alien. So if you have some green eyeshadow and something sparkly to wear, you're good to go. And I really love the way this one turned out. This next one is a perfect last minute couples costume or best friend costume, doesn't have to be with your boyfriend. I so kindly had Cody join me on this. So we are salt and pepper. And basically all we did was wore the appropriate colors. I didn't really realize that my 
dress was a little bit more cream than white compared to my hat but we basically just wore all black or all white and then stuck some felt letters that I had cut out really easy literally took three seconds and then stuck a hat on us and called us salt and pepper I put on some black lipstick because why not but you don't have to do that I just thought it was fun so as you guys can tell, this one is super duper easy to recreate, so if you don't want to spend any money this Halloween, this is the costume for you. This next one is definitely my favorite in this video, and if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you guys probably would have seen this already. I really liked the way it turned out, so I was pretty proud of it. And so basically, I just started off with a really orange blush and made my face really orange. Of course, I had my regular basic makeup on prior to this. And then I'm just taking some white face paint and outlining the bottom half of my mouth, and the white was a little bit um, sheer, so I did have to build it up in quite a few layers. And then taking my liquid liner, I'm just drawing myself a little fox nose and filling it in. This was really easy as you guys can see. And then I'm taking that same liquid liner and drawing a line from the top of my lip down or up to my nose rather. I did end up connecting it all. I know I don't do it here, but I did end up connecting it. And then I'm just doing some little dots on my cheeks. And then to finish off the look, I'm taking a black liquid lipstick and just applying that to my upper lip and not pressing my lips together which was very difficult I had to wait for it to dry but this is the finished fox makeup I think it is so cute and I actually might be this for Halloween so let me know in the comments down below if you like it and if I should be this for Halloween the costume was super simple too I found this skirt at value village which was perfect and paired it with a gray top along with of course the ears and the tail now fox wouldn't be complete without their hounds so I put some puppy ears on Cody and I'm just taking that same black liquid lipstick and drawing him a big dog nose in the movie Fox and the Hound, the dog doesn't really have any other thing and since Cody has facial hair, didn't really want to mess with that too much so all we did was draw the nose. And then he just wore basic human clothes that kind of complemented my outfit but you guys, I don't know, if there's other puppy costumes out there that would work too. You know, if it's a last minute costume, I don't think you guys are going to have puppy costumes lying around but this is a completed look. I think it is so adorable and I'm really, really happy with the way this one turned out. I think it's so cute. You ain't nothing but a hound dog final DIY Halloween costume I have for you guys is kind of like a two-in-one so the first part of this is just your basic lovely old tooth fairy all you need to do is get some wings put on a white dress and the only DIY pieces you'll really need to make are the crown and the wand so I basically just went to the dollar store picked up a set of the two and then broke off the star on the wand and glued this tooth on that I just freehanded from some felt used some hot glue stuck it on did the same thing on the crown as well as added some toothpicks but if you guys want to do a little bit more creepy version, you could do a more zombie version of a tooth fairy that, I don't know, eats people's teeth or something. This makeup was so easy to do. Once you have your full face on, all you have to do is take some fake blood, smear that around your mouth, add some dark lipstick or something and have it drip down. Take some black eyeshadow, smear that under your eyes and boom, you are a creepy tooth fairy thing. Huge thank you to my friend Megan for letting us use her space to film. I really appreciate it and I will have her Instagram linked down below because she is a bomb photographer. She is so damn talented. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, definitely go follow her on Instagram. That would be great. And definitely go check out all the other girls' videos in this collab. Get some more Halloween ideas. Share them with your friends. All that kind of stuff. And subscribe to their channels, obviously, because you're not going to want to miss their amazing content. And also subscribe to my channel if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.